My friend Julie Goodwin is joining me in the kitchen today. And what are we cooking today? I can see some chicken. Yep, I'm going to make a beautiful sage roasted chicken. Oh, We're going to butterfly yum. him and roast yum. him. And some crispy baked potatoes. Oh, so how do, what dinner. do we start with? Well, this? I'm going to pop some potatoes on. So I've just cut those into evenly sized pieces. Yep. And what potatoes do you use? Uh, I, I like to use the Sebago potatoes, yep. the dirty potatoes, dirty. but you can use, <laughs> you can use <laughs> dirty Sebagos. Yeah. 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 You can use Desiree. Dutch cream is nice. Um, yeah. So are these going to be nice and crispy potatoes? They are, yeah. and that's why I, I boil them a bit okay. in some salted water yeah. there and boil them until the edges start to rough up. Okay. And yeah. then we drop them into some hot oil. So I'll get you right. to pop that oil into the pan. I'm okay. going to put that in the oven to get hot. Ah. Ah, so ah, is that your trick to <laughs> crunch your potatoes? All it of this is. oil? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Pop it in. And straight into the oven now or do yeah. we have to wait for the potatoes to cook? No, pop it, pop in, it in, in the oven. Okay, I'll put that into the oven. Yep. Yeah. It's good to use really hot oil because if you're using cold oil, it tends to absorb into the food and it's a bit oily yeah, and yuck. Nice and hot oil equals crispy potatoes. Yum. Okay, <laughs> so we'll wait for them to boil. Now what? All right, chooky. Let's get on with chooky. Ooh, yum. Okay. So for the chicken, I've got a nice free range. Chicken here for you, Jules. Yum, yum. Yep. I might get you to start chopping for my butter, yeah, my flavoured butter. So chop Sage. up. Yeah, about. That's a massive bunch of sage. <laughs> <laughs> <Is that> big... <laughs> what? I don't know how much sage you wanted. I thought I'd just pick the you know, other it for you. I normally say about half a bunch, but probably about a quarter of that bunch. So about that much? <laughs> yeah, about yeah, that okay. much. Just the leaves. Yeah. All right. Can I get you to please pass me the paper towel, Jazzy? Because I'm going to dry this birdie. So always to dry it, just to yeah. make sure that there's no liquids in yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. Otherwise, it, it can the skin might crisp up as nice. Yeah, nicely. we want it to be golden. golden so give him a nice pat down with the paper towel. Different cutting board, of course. Different chopping board. So are we making a stuffing stuffing like with breadcrumbs or are we going to do it a different way? Just today? a flavoured butter under the skin. Flavoured butter under the skin. This is a really, really simple chook. Okay. So to butterfly him, all I do is, is pick up his little tail. Okay. So you turn it on its, turn it on, on, his, the breast, on his belly yeah. and then just snip up both sides and of each that. Each side of that, yeah. the, the, um, the backbone yeah. there. And the reason for doing this is just to uh, reduce cooking time and it's also quite a nice presentation. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll take that out. Okay. So I open him up. You've got to get a little bit violent with the poor thing. <laughs> Give him a bit of a smash. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's the only way to do it. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to finally chop this garlic too and then chop it into the sage. Sensational. Now okay, I'm... So this is delicate, this stage, isn't yeah. it? Basically, you're trying to find between the skin and the flesh, there's a little sort of membrane yep. thing. So you just got to work at that until and you, just you take find... your time to yeah. doing this. See that as soon spot? as you pierce the skin, yeah. the, the butter's going to start The butter out. runs out, you don't want that. And the purpose of putting butter under the skin like this is that it makes the skin really golden mm. for a start. And secondly, um, it bastes the breast the whole time it's cooking and so it's, it's just... Keeps it nice moist, and moist. It's divine. Yep. So I'm mixing this butter now with the, the sage. Just yep. make sure I'm doing it right. Mash it all Follow in together. Follow instructions. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of salt and pepper in there too. Absolutely. Just season him. Salt, a bit of pepper. Okay. Here we go. This is the fun bit. So you just grab that in your hands. Yep. I'll do it half a bit at a time. Shove that over there. Okay, so two, and then you just sort of smear it, don't you? Smear it. Ooh, I can't wait to try this Fill one. Fill it, mm, yes. Love chicken. Now I've got lovely buttery hands. Mm -hmm. I'll just give him a oh, loving little oh, massage because he's a nice chicken and yep. he's going to be our lunch and he's given up his life for our lunch. So <laughs> I'll give him a nice little pat. That's nice of you. Now, do you want to just whack that in half for me? Yes, I can do that. Thank you, my dear. There you go. I'll throw that into the pot. Oh, just straight in? Yeah, yep. with a few, um, a few more, sprigs, few more yep, sage, sage leaves. Sage leaves. So this sort of acts like a bit of a trivet. It sits the chicken up and lets the heat okay, circulate so all them. around him. That's a good little trick. You can so put the stems that... in there as well because they're... So you can see there that we've done... Two lemons in half, yep. straight on the sage, and it's going to take it, elevate yeah. it a little bit more. There we go. So it just yeah, nice. keeps him 
keeps him up so the air will circulate. Okay. And that goes into the oven, 180 degrees, for about 40 minutes. Right, we'll put them in. Do you want some salt and pepper on that or that's fine as is? I think leave him because we've, him. we've yep. seasoned the butter and we leave can him. season him okay. before we eat him. But in the oven. I'll take that oil out, be careful not to burn myself. Okay, hot oil coming through. Okay, so I'll just gently pop Ooh, that in. So it okay, starts, it to, starts sizzle to sizzle straight away. I mean, if you think about what we've got, Jules, we've got sage, chicken, potatoes. Cook simply, sometimes the best things, isn't it? The simple things in life are the best, Josie. That's what I wanted you to say, that was good. <laughs> That's why I like you. <laughs> I like simple things. <laughs> All right, okay. I, oh, we're going to toss them in there. Yep. Yeah, we'll turn it round a bit yep. so that they're coated. Yep and they'll start to crisp up all over. Mm. But you do turn them during the cooking as yep. well, just to make sure. Here we go. In the oven. So he's been out of the oven for a few minutes yep. and rested. So we've taken it out 10 minutes ago, just to make sure that the juice is relaxed. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be extra, extra moist. Mm. And tender, Yum. delicious. And we'll grab those spuds. Get those out of the yep. oven. Get this out of your way. Oh, I like that sound, Jules. It's a crispy sound, isn't it? Crispy sound. <laughs> so there we go, yes. some nice, I'll just drain those on a bit of paper. Okay. And I'll get you to salt them while salt they're still, okay. while, before the oil absorbs away. So it's so straight away. So you you yeah. meant that straight away, straight away out of the oven. Because once that oil absorbs in, the salt doesn't stick. Yeah. Okay. Good. So I've so got salt. a big chopping board for Sorry, you to serve. I'm going to try one of these now, Jules. Is that all right? Yeah. Just see if I can see that. Best while they're crispy and hot. Oh, good. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Look at that beautiful caramelised lemon mm. that you can squeeze yeah. over your chuki. Yummy. Okay, so we're just going to put them... Yeah. Scatter that round, a nice rustic serving. I'll tell you what, I like that chicken. Just the way it is. Home cooked dinner by Julie Goodwin. <laughs> love it, Jules. Love it. Thanks, Josie. <laughs>